How'd you like to come and see the world with me? You mean it? In Cars 2, our characters travel the world, and we are going to each of the places that they visit. This isn't Radiator Spring. You're just realizing that? And so important to the film to be authentic. And so we set off on this 12-day trip where we basically went through six countries. And we're just photographing and videoing and trying to take all these things in. Because when you go to a country, it's got to feel like that country. It's got to look like that country. So we try to do what we call carifying. We take real monuments that you would know at first glance, like, ah, that's the Eiffel Tower. But when you look closer, we put something like a wire wheel in the base of a spark plug at the top. Dang, God. We were trying to subtly weave these car forms into every setting. So it really feels authentic what these international cities and countries would be like if cars were alive. Major, let's go! The trip started off in London. We spent a day and a half photographing, videoing all the iconic spots. Eye of London, Big Ben, Parliament. This ain't nothing at all like Radiator Spring. Big Ben has become Big Bentley and is augmented with parts from the Bentley. I probably ought to go. I'm about to miss my flight. We went through to Paris. We had to get on the back of motorcycles where we began to film and photograph again all around the landmarks of Paris. The Arc de Triomphe, the Louvre. Notre Dame is carified with cargoyles. Are you kidding me? One out of Porto Corsa. We are in Italy. We are home. On the Mediterranean coastline in Italy, you see the car parts in the hillsides and the rockwork. The casino sits atop a carified mountain. It's this beautiful, idyllic location with clear water, yachts in the harbor, and it looks like a painting. It's unbelievable. Porto Corsa truly is a playground for the wealthy. We knew we needed to go to Japan and really soak in all those textures and colors and sounds of Japan. Domo arigato! We wanted it to be night, so the neon signs would be, you know, kind of the big thing, and the Japanese lanterns in the back alley area. Ah. Why, a live karate demonstration. What's great about this film is that it's almost like a love letter to all these countries you visit. Guido, che bello rivedervi! We have these exotic locations around the world, really romantic, really cool places that everybody would love to go, and we're very excited about it. You're coming to all my races from now on. Now you're talking.